In this video, we're going to identify the least common denominator of two fractions, and then build those fractions up so they have a common denominator. Looking at this first example, 5a over 4b cubed c, and the fraction 3c over 6a squared b, identifying the least common denominator, we've got 4 and 6, which have an LCD of 12, and then we also see factors of a, b, and c. There's no need to list the b twice, we've already listed it in our LCD. And then what we do is we can go back and attach highest exponents to each factor. We see a squared on the a, cubed on the b, and c is just c to the first, it's the only c there. And so what we want is to build up our denominators to 12 a squared b cubed c. We can do this by multiplying by any missing factors. To build a 4 up to 12, we have to multiply by 3. There's no a's in our denominator, so we need the entire a squared factor as well. We already have b cubed, and we already have the c, so we're just multiplying numerator and denominator by 3a squared. When we do that, 3 times 5 is 15, and adding the exponents on a gives us a cubed over that common denominator we want of 12a squared b cubed c. Similarly, the other fraction, to move 6 to 12, we multiply by 2. We already have the a squared. b to b cubed, we need two more b's, or b squared. And finally, we also need the c factor. So we're multiplying numerator and denominator by 2b squared c. Multiplying the numerator gives us 6, b squared, c squared, over the denominator we want of 12, a squared, b cubed, c. We have now identified the LCD by taking all the factors with highest exponents, all unique factors, I should say, and then finally built up each fraction to have that uh, common denominator by multiplying by missing factors. Let's try the same pattern with polynomials. 5x over x squared minus 5x minus 6, and x minus 2 over x squared plus 4x plus 3. This problem does have an additional step at the beginning, in that we have to identify the factors in the denominator. Multiplying the first one to negative 6 and adding to negative 5 would be negative 6 and positive 1. So we have x minus 6 times x plus 1. And in the other fraction, we're multiplying to 3 and adding to 4. This would be 3 and 1, giving us x plus 3 times x plus 1. For our least common denominator, we list each factor, x minus 6, and x plus 1, and x plus 3, and we already have the x plus 1, so we don't list it again. There's no exponents, so we don't need any exponents. And now that we know what the LCD is, we can multiply by the missing factors. The first fraction, you see, is missing the x plus 3. So we'll multiply by x plus 3 in the numerator and denominator. Distributing the 5x through gives us 5x squared plus 15x, over the common denominator x minus 6, x plus 1, x plus 3. For the next fraction, we see it's missing the x minus 6 factor. So we'll multiply the denominator by x minus 6 so that they're all there, putting the numerator in parentheses and foiling this out. x times x is x squared minus 6x minus 2x, plus 12, over our common denominator of x minus 6, x plus 1, x plus 3. Normally, we would combine like terms. The first fraction doesn't have any. The second fraction does. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase this. Negative 6 and negative 2 is negative 8x. And now we've got two fractions with a common denominator. We get that by identifying the missing factors and multiplying the missing factors.